Hey folks, thank y'all for tuning in for another Testimony Tuesday. I got a special guest with me. This is our assistant pastor. This is brother Caleb Canavan. Hello. And he is, how old are you brother? I'm 26 years old. 26 year old. He's going to be a brand new daddy coming very, very soon. soon. Very soon. So, I've asked brother Caleb to give us his testimony. So, I'm going to set the camera down and take it away. Well, as Brother Dewey said, my name is Caleb Canavan. I'm the assistant pastor here at Calgary, and I get to work with our young people. And uh, Brother Dewey asked me to share my testimony. That's simply a story of how I came to a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. See, no one is born a Christian. We all become Christians. Becoming a Christian is a choice to accept Jesus Christ into your life. And I remember I made that decision. It was a life-changing decision. I made it when I was six years old. My testimony would be similar to many people in the fact that I grew up going to church. I grew up surrounded by those things. And some people might discount that and say, well, that's just the way you were raised. But Christianity is a personal choice, and I had to make it my own. And I remember I grew up in a, in a preacher's home. My dad was a preacher, and I knew all the right verses to say. I mean, I could quote you what we call the Romans Road. I knew John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. I could quote you Romans, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. I knew all those verses. And you know, I knew that I was a sinner. We're all sinners. We've all broken God's law, and I knew that. And um, I knew that sinners die and go to hell. And I knew that. But you know, it, I never made it personal. And I remember there was a time in my life when that finally clicked. Have you ever had one of those light bulb moments and you just finally understand something? I remember I was six years old. I was sitting in a service. It was a Sunday morning service. And my dad was preaching. I finally realized that it's not just that everybody's a sinner, but that I'm a sinner. I, Caleb Canavan, I am a sinner. If I do not ask Jesus Christ to save me from my sin, then I will die and spend an eternity in hell. And to be honest with you, that thought terrified me. I was scared that I was going to walk out and I would end up in hell. I didn't want that. So right as soon as the service was coming to a close, uh, my dad, the preacher, extended the invitation. He said, if someone here who's not saved wants to get saved, I shot down and went down the aisle. And I, and I said, I asked my dad, Dad, I need to get saved. So he took me to the back and he opened his Bible and once again explained, Caleb, God loves you. And that's why I sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross so your sins could be forgiven. And he once again showed me those same verses, some of the same verses I quoted earlier, also Romans 5, 8, but God commended, he showed his love to us, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And he also quoted Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. My daddy asked me, Caleb, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? I shook my head, yes. He said, do you believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins? That he was buried and that he rose again? Do you believe that? I said, yes. He said, are you, are you willing to trust in Jesus as the only payment for your sins? I shook my head, yes. I believe that. But you know what? There was just knowing those things is not enough. I had to ask Jesus Christ to save me. And I just I think that's one of the most important things. But just believing that Jesus is God is not enough. And one of the things I'm so thankful that I did that day is I asked Jesus to save me. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the moment I asked Jesus to save me, I called on Him. He saved me. And my life changed. When I was a six-year-old boy. I mean, it's, I wasn't into drugs or robbing banks or anything like that, but there was a change in my life. Jesus Christ saved me that day. And I can look back at that point where I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. See, I wasn't always a Christian. There was a point in time where I accepted Jesus. And my challenge through giving my testimony is, is there a time in your life where you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? See, no one's born a Christian. We become Christians when we ask Jesus to save us from our sins, forgive us. And that day, I think it was June the 5th, 1998, I prayed. I, I, I prayed a simple prayer. And I said, Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I believe you died on the cross to save me from my sins. 
Will you be my Savior? Come and live in my heart. And Jesus changed my life. And if anyone out there is watching this testimony, I encourage you, examine that. Examine yourself that you're in the faith. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? It's not just enough to believe Jesus is God or even think and say, acknowledge Jesus died on the cross. Have you asked Him to save you? That decision is what makes all the difference in the world. Thanks, Dewey, for letting me share this. I appreciate it. Thank you, Brother Caleb. I appreciate your testimony, Absolutely. my friend. Thank um, you. You said your dad was a preacher. What's he doing right now? My dad is a missionary in the country of Ireland. He just goes and tells people about Jesus. And so if you're ever in Dublin, Ireland, and you want to know a good church, I know a great church. <laughs> and just ask Brother Dewey. He'll be able to get you all the details. That's right. I appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll see y'all later.